Hi guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to the Euro 2024 DLC for EA Sports FC. And today we're going to be doing a run again, this time with Albania. A lot of people were saying, please can you do Poland? Please can you do Serbia? But I was like, you know what? I really wanted to just do Albania first. A, because Albania don't really feature in many FIFA games these days. And B, they're in a grip of death. And I really wanted to try it. You know, we have to try it just to see if we can get out of this group with Albania. So I've kept the groups the same in this run. And hopefully we can have a good campaign with Albania. I think that personally is going to be a group stage finish, I think. With Georgia in our last run, it was a decent-ish first run. But let's see if we can actually improve on that with a couple of victories here with Albania. I'd love that. But like I said, I still believe that I'm going to get a group stage finish here. Like, this group is so tough on paper for the likes of Albania. They are the weaker team of the group. But you know, you never know. You never know. They could end up shocking a couple of uh, teams, possibly. So first corner for Italy in the game, eight minutes in. They play it short. Defending on this game, not my strongest, like we found out in the Georgia gameplay. And already off the post, thankfully. Here we go. Chelsea. Here comes Italy. Oh, it's gone in. Come on. I went to tackle him and no, it didn't work. And that is Skamaka with the goal to make it 1-0. Albania are really struggling in this one. Well, I'm struggling, not Albania. <laughs> I think the computer could do a better job than me in this game, that's for sure. I just can't get used to this game compared to the older ones. Here we go. Uzuni, if that's how you say it. He's going through. Off the post. Albania close to getting an equaliser there. We're putting a lot of pressure on the Italians though. And we've headed it there. And out to you. Come on, can we do something? It's blocked. Header it again, maybe? No. Into the middle. Turn. Shoot. Oh, the finesse shot was poor. So, so poor. In front of goal, you have to be better than that. Why does that player model look like Steph Curry? On the counter-attack from the corner. Can Albania push a little bit higher? Over the top, maybe. And it's hooked away. It's going to be a throw-in. They'll probably go to half-time, I think. Yeah, half-time. Albania are unlucky at the moment to be 1-0 down. It should have been 1-1. We should have scored the chances that we had in that first half. Come on. Italy. Ah, oh, I was about to say we could have equalised again, but the shot was just so weak. No, get it. Oh, thank you. Again, Italy, the pressure, like the AI can just do whatever it wants on the higher difficulties. And you're just left to hope that your goalkeeper saves it. Because there's no way that my defending is going to stop any of these attempts going through. See? <laughs> like, the, by the time you select a player, the, the computer's already had a shot. It's just crazy how fast it goes. They cross it in. And, oh, that just glanced across goal. I don't know what a keeper didn't actually go and get that. It was right there. And, again, another giveaway by Albania. We're not going to get back into this game with passes like that. Come on. Last minute. Come on. No. Oh, Albania, man. I just couldn't shoot for the life of me in this match. How annoying is that we are going to lose 1-0 and again, I don't know what to say in that first match. Oh my goodness, come on. Oh, the game's teasing me. The game's teasing me. I can't believe that I lost that match. Well, I can because I'm Albania. Let's be realistic. Like, I was going to probably lose this game. But we had the chances to get back in the game and the shots were so bad. Well, at least we only lost 1-0 against Italy. You know, I kind of knew that I was going to lose, but at least it was only a 1-0. And the attacking play from Albania does give me a slight bit of hope here against Croatia. But you know what? Croatia, they're still a really good team, aren't they? This group is such a hard group for Albania. I kind of feel sorry for them in a way, you know? I mean, maybe in real life they actually might perform quite well, but... To the fact that they've got this group is pretty harsh. Let's see then what Albania can do against Croatia here. I'm hoping for a win so that we can advance to um, the next match against Spain, obviously. We won't advance to the knockouts unless we get lots of goals. Go on, out, out towards the wing. I can see you. Let's keep going. I'm going to have to pass it into the middle. 
Oh my goodness, like the shots. Why are they so weak? Into the middle. The strike and it's saved. That was actually a powerful shot that time, but the Croatian keeper denies us. Here we go then, another corner. Another one. Can we cross it in this time? And okay, it's just outside the box. Out to you. Go for the power shot. Off the bar, Albania, man. <laughs> what have we got to do to score in this DLC? Seriously. Come on. Yes, this guy. There is a chance. And it's saved again by Levakovic. Come on, how much like shots do we need? How many? <laughs> the last game was just the same. And it's headed away. And the power shot. Oh my goodness, off the bar. And yes, <laughs> come on. Finally, we have scored. And that is 1-0. How come I keep doing this celebration? This little walking celebration. But oh my goodness, the frustration has finally paid off. Again, another shot that hits the bar. And then we just get the rebound. Albania 100% deserved that. Because we have been all over Croatia in this first half. And oh my god, I can finally calm down. So Albania, all they need to do really now is just keep this lead or even build on it. We can try and build on it, but you know that Croatia are going to be just all over us in the second half. Ah, oh, computer's so like tight with the defending, like even there. And again, <laughs> come on. Oh, hang on. Is that going to be a penalty? It might be. I don't know why Croatia made that foul. And that might be a pen. It, I don't know. It, it, it looked like it was in the box. Was it in the box? Oh, it might have been on the outskirts. Oh, it is a penalty. Oh, it was just in such an awkward position. And now Albania have the chance to score this penalty against Croatia. Steps up. Bang! It's 2-0. And Albania have doubled their lead over Croatia. And they have given themselves a chance in this group. I mean, our last match is against Spain. So, I mean, <laughs> I just need to get this goal difference up as much as possible. No, come on. I could say the Albanian keeper has been fantastic in this run so far. Making a lot of good saves. And that is going to be it. Albania have beaten Croatia by two goals to nil. What a result that is for Albania. That is a hell of a result in this group of death. And it gives us half a chance to go through. Even as the best third place team. We've got three points. Two goals. And um, one against us. So as long as we can get a strong performance against Spain. We might be able to do it. And when I say strong. I don't really necessarily mean a win. The best I could probably hope for is a draw. I mean looking at our group stage table. We are sat in second place with three points. Italy also have three as well. But they lost against um, Spain in the last match. So we are in a decent position here. All we got to do is avoid a heavy loss against Spain. Here we go then. Final match of the group is against Spain. I'm tempted just to like play this around my own half for like 90 minutes. Just to get the draw. But I actually want to try and have a go against Spain and see what we can do. Great challenge there from Albania. And now we can run down the wing. Spain a little bit static defensively. What is going on here? And saved by the Spanish goalkeeper. Albania could have scored there, but no. Crossed in. Headed away. Come on. We can't afford to slip up here. We got a massive chance to go through. Even as a second place team, which would be amazing. Whose manager is that? Is that Spanish manager or is that Albania? <laughs> I noticed that there are managers on this game. Um, England actually have Gareth Southgate, which is really cool. Great challenge. Come on, Albania. Press. Oh, what a save. We've had so many attempts. We have taken this game to Spain, but yet we still don't have a goal. So it's half time and Albania are drawing nil-nil against Spain. This is a good result. Really, really good result. Even if Italy are beating Croatia, it means that we have a chance to be the best third place team. But at the moment, Croatia are beating Italy 2-1. So I'm not sure if that's actually the final result or whether or not that's the half-time score. But Croatia have done us a massive favour. Rostin is headed and saved by the Albanian keeper again. Hero at the moment. Albania have frustrated Spain here. Look at them. They're going in for like slide tackles and stuff. 
oh, we had to do it. We had to chop him down. <laughs> Williams was going right through. We had to chop him down. Come on, we've only got like six minutes left. What the hell was that? That Did you see that ball? The way it just like Roberto Carlos into the box. Come on, Albania. Literally, it's the last few minutes of the game. It's crossed in back post. Yes! Come on! Albania have done it! They've done it! 1-0 against Spain! They have done it! They have done the impossible! Albania have done the impossible! Why has that guy got face paint of Spain on him when he's wearing an Albania shirt? The biggest glory hunter I've ever seen! And the cross into the box, literally in the dying minutes or dying seconds of the game, the header goes in. You cannot make this stuff up. Oh my god, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> Come on, Albania. Absolutely incredible result for Albania. And... Even if we get destroyed in the round of 16, this run is goated. Just the way that we beat Spain there, oh my goodness. That is just class by Albania. Absolute class. So your final table for Group B looks like this. Spain come top of the group with 6 points. Albania also with 6 points with a dramatic late winner over Spain. Italy are in 3rd place. It remains to be seen if they will go through. And Croatia are going home. So our next match is going to be against Scotland. So that's not bad to be fair. I mean... You know, we beat Spain. There's no reason why we couldn't beat Scotland. Here we go then. Scotland versus Albania in the round of 16. And I'm just happy that I've got this far with Albania. Just beating that group of death is just enough for me to say, yep, I've had a really good gameplay today. Maybe over the top? No, I'm, I'm not going to go for that. I'm going to go for the shot instead. And I, I don't know. I was caught in two minds there. Over the top or just keep going? Gonna be crossed in by Armstrong. Overhead kick and oh brilliant save again from the Albanian keeper. I think that was John McGinn, wasn't it? So far, Scotland have had most of the possession and everything and all the corners and even the shots as well, but they haven't really come that close apart from the overhead from McGinn. We came close as well earlier, but um, it wasn't really the best attempt, so I think this is going going to go down to the wire. So we go into half time, all level here in this round of 16. I'm quite happy with this, you know. It's been quite a competitive match so far between the two. And it's crossed in, headed away. Scotland have got it, and it's saved again. Our goalkeeper has been arguably one of our best players in this run. Albania have faced a lot of shots, especially in the group stages, and, um, you know, it was basically the heroics of the keeper that managed to keep most of the sides out in the group stages. Scotland are pressing, and it's a shot, and it's saved again from our keeper. He's been so good. I can't seem to get out of my own half now. Scotland have just really just kept us penned in. And they're putting on a lot of pressure here. And it's saved again. It's the 84th minute going into the 85th. Will they get the winning goal? It seems like they're going to get the winning goal rather than us. But um, we'll see. Crossed in. Head up. No. I knew it. Damn it, man. Oh, Scotland have scored. And that is 1-0. Oh, you can't say that Scotland didn't deserve it. But... Oh, Albania, man, the dream is over and the Scottish have taken the lead. We just hadn't had anything in front of goal in this match. Scotland have been really good at defending. There is one opportunity here, though. We're going to go for it. No, too much power on that one. Oh, just over the bar. Our shooting woes in this um, run is, have been just, well, they've just not been good. And the Steph Curry lookalike basically misses there in front of net. And, well, Albania's run will be coming to an end. But, despite this result against Scotland, I've been really happy with this run. Because we got out of the group of death. I still had fun. And that was one of my better runs, I think. Well, I've only done two. But it's definitely going to be one of my better runs. Just for the drama at the end of the group stage. So, as I said, Albania have been eliminated and these are your quarterfinals. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today with Albania. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always and I'll see you again for the next video.